So we've done our first edit, now we're about to do the second edit. Our first edit, if I just remind you, is a wide shot. And if we have a look here, if I click play, you can see just a nice simple few seconds of five seconds of, of the band. Now, if I come back to my second shot, my untitled one footage, we've got the girls here about to say something. So I'll just take my marker to when she's about to start talking. And it's around about there. I'm going to put my in point there and just have a listen to it. Hi, I'm Georgia and this is Jen. We're at Jazz... That didn't work, so I'll put another in point in. Hi, I'm Georgia and this is Jen. We're at Jazz on the Green right now. However, due to the current weather conditions, it's more like Jazz in the Hall. Um, at the moment, we're just listening to the Jonathan Chigi Trio. They're playing some amazing jazz songs for the the audience at the moment and Georgia and I are going to sing as well as Mads and Annabelle Clough as well as Stage Band and Planet Group. It's going to be a great afternoon with a whole lot of jazz music um, and a good fundraiser for Strassi. So I'm just going to stop it at a great afternoon. So take my marker back down. It's going to be a great afternoon. And I've already got my out point there. So this uh, particular edit is obviously going a little bit too long. We're looking at around about 24 seconds long for that edit. So we're going to um, keep the audio going for that length of time, but uh, the actual footage is going to change. So now that I've got my in point and my out point, I'm ready to drag that onto the timeline. Now, at the moment, I'll just show you one. I'll just take it back to there. There's a little function over here which is good to be aware of. It's called the snapping function. At the moment, my snapping function is off. And if I click on that, it's on. When it's green, it's on. When it's gray, it's off. So I'll keep on green, and now that my snapping function is on, when I go back to my viewer and click and drag down to the timeline, it'll snap into position. So I'll know exactly it snaps right into the frame that's next to the last edit that was completed. So I'll scroll down, take my, uh, at the bottom we've got the scrolly bar here, which uh, can take it back to the start. And let's have a look at this little edit between the end of the first edit and the beginning of the second edit and see how it looks. Now I can just hit the space bar and uh, over or just hit play here or hit the space bar and that'll play it for me. Hi, I'm Georgia. There's a bit of a gap there before she starts talking. So I'm just going to take it back with using my arrows. Uh, you can sort of fine tune each frame and uh, you can I'm just going to take it back a little bit. Now this will be a uh, this is like a little cutting tool. There's, into my toolbar, they've got the, the razor blade here. So I'll click on my razor blade, bring it back to where my marker is, and I've put in a cut. And go back to my pointer tool, come back to where that cut is, and that's an area of footage I don't want anymore. If I do a right click in that, go down to where it says ripple delete, it will delete that, but it'll also fill the gap or close the gap so that there's nothing left there. So I will delete and instantly this sort of uh, falls in without any gap and I should have a nice straight edit. I'll go back to play this again. Hi, I'm Georgia and this is Jen. We're at Jazz on the Green right now. However, due to the current weather conditions, it's more like Jazz in the Hall. Um, at the moment, we're just listening to the Jonathan Chigi Trio. They're playing some amazing jazz songs. Okay, so she started to talk about the band at this point so it'd be good to add some footage of the band but what would be good is to keep the band actually playing while they're talking so I'm going to do something a little bit tricky here I'm going to uh, click and drag this up to the next video layer these are the video layers you have potentially 99 video layers you can work with in Final Cut and 99 audio layers what we tend to do is only work with around about four five or six layers generally sometimes up to eight or nine but generally it's not that many so i've now gone to video track two which means this audio is now on audio track three and four and what that means now is i can keep my original audio i'll just drag that along my original audio is going to keep going so let's have a listen to what this sounds like hi i'm georgia and this is jen we're at jazz on the green right now yeah, that sounds better than what it did before because the band's still playing. If I just go back to what it was before and have a listen to the difference now. 
Hi, I'm Georgia, and this is Jen. We're Quite a dramatic sort of editing difference there, but if I go back to what I was planning to do, keep the music rolling, and it's a much smoother sort of feel. Hi, I'm Georgia, and this is Jen. We're at Jazz on the Green right now. So that's uh, more effective. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to adjust the volume, because often when you add a new track or add a new edit and you're keeping the audio of the old edit on, you might want to reduce the volume of the audio. Now down the bottom left hand corner you've got this little button just here and this, uh, once you've activated that little button it brings up your volume control. So if I go to my pen tool in my toolbars and come back and I can just reduce the volume a little bit of the band. It doesn't need to be reduced that much and then play it from there. Hi, I'm Georgia, and this is Jen. Yeah, We're at Jazz on the Green right now. Jazz However, due to the current weather conditions, it's more like audio. Jazz in the I'll Hall. Just stop this for a sec so it doesn't confuse you. This is your audio meter, and with your audio meter, let's bring it up here a little bit. You, What you want to try and do is make sure these green lines are hovering around about here. We call that hovering around about negative 12 decibels. If they're up here in the red, it's too loud, you have to bring it down. If they're a little bit too low, it's probably going to be too soft, you have to bring it up. Try to keep your volume hovering around negative 12 decibels. Let's have a listen to where it is at the moment, if I start from the beginning. So we've got it fine, the band's hovering around negative 12. And then when the girls start Hi, talking, I'm Georgia, and this is Jen. We're at Jazz on the Green right just now. just a fraction too loud. So there's... Go back to my my pointer tool. Here is the audio of the girls, and I'm just going to bring the whole audio down about negative four decibels, and that means that may, that that should bring them around about the size, the size I want. All right, jazz on the green right now. However, due to the current weather conditions, it's more like jazz. Not too bad. It's hovering around about there. One girl's At the moment, we're just listening to the Jonathan Gigi trio. But that's okay.